welcome to FX Street. Uh, we're going to look at Dogecoin and uh, if it's going to do anything <laughs> before we re revisit uh, or it again on Tuesday. But before we do that, head on over to YouTube, join our channel by hitting that subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter at FXS Crypto and Akash at Mangyako Zero and myself at Just Analysis One. Taking a look here at Dogecoin. Now, we're just from a time cycle perspective. This is kind of ad nauseum repeating this over the last uh, uh, two and a half weeks is that uh, really from the from February 28th, March 1st to March 21st is where the the time frame that Dogecoin is most likely to experience the beginning of a uh, major spike and that is quickly culminating because a lot of these time cycles and astro cycles are, are, are finally kind of falling into place with today being especially important because when you look at, I think it's today, if you, if you go from the all time high from last year, uh, which was in May 8th, and you look at where we are now, this is, we're on a 314th day, um, three, in, in GAN's cycles of the inner year, the final cycle, but uh, the second to last, I guess, is the 315-day cycle. Uh, he warned that at 315 days in a trend, uh, that that uh, you know it's 45 days from it's 45 days less to complete a, a one-year cycle. Uh, that a, that a new 45-day move can begin to terminate and end the one-year cycle. But most importantly, he said that uh, fast blow-off moves can occur. And in Gann's definition of what a blow-off move is, that is a uh, insane, rapid, violent spike uh, that approaches the uh, threshold of the prior uh, important swing high or low, which was back here at the beginning of the cycle. So that, again, um, nothing there has really changed for me. It's just waiting. It's a hurry-up-and-wait game. Uh, you use time as a form of your analysis, it can be frustrating because waiting sucks. <laughs> it's not, it's not fun. You just kind of have to go, eh, all right, we'll just see and hold on and wait. But as far as Dogecoin, where it's going over the weekend, um, upside potential likely limited to the 15, 15 cent, 15 half cent range. There's a ton of resistance up there that needs to get past. Even if it gets past the tank and send and the kitchen send, it needs to get a three eight two retracement, bottom of the cloud, fifty percent retracement, top of the cloud. There's a good chunk, but I mean meme coins like Doge, they they do spike in the double digit uh, moves and can do it consecutively. So uh, if this was Bitcoin's chart, it'd be like, yeah, maybe that's not going to happen. But Dogecoin, oh yeah, that totally happened. Um, so that's where the upside potential is. As far as downside risks, uh, uh, really, again, going back to eight and nine cents, that's the bottom part of this. That's the next high volume node from back in the 2021 volume profile. That's where I see that that at. So uh, that's what I see for Doge. I'll, I'll uh, pass it off to you, Akash. So honestly, nothing's changed uh, for Doge. The better scenario is where I'm expecting the Doge to head down to 0 0.085 and 0 0.075 to fill this uh, fair valley gap here extending from roughly 0 0.06 to 106. From a bullish perspective, okay, from, from, not from a bullish perspective, but from an extremely low, not extremely, a four-hour time frame perspective, uh, I'm expecting Doge to see some sort of a relief run up to the 0.123 resistance level before we see any sort of downside. So, in a way, this could be a good setup to take. So, which is 7% upswing is what I'm looking at for Doge on a forward time frame. As far as the money time frame is concerned, if we flip the 0.124 resistance level, there's a good chance we could head up to 0.16. Beyond that, we have this volume point of control at 0.262. As John mentioned, uh, this coin uh, doesn't, it, it, it sleeps for months, probably years together, and then finally wakes up and then pumps 
the whole year's world in a single in a couple of days. Kind of like what happened here and here. So better not to sleep on Doge. So yeah, that's uh, that's my analysis for Doge. Okay, so John I, is help, uh, help silent. Helps if I hit the uh, unmute button. Uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Uh, remember to head over to YouTube, uh, follow us on FXS Crypto on Twitter, and uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.